Hello everyone, I'm Havoc and this is Factorio. And you'll probably notice that to my right is something very interesting. So it's a little bitty uh, bot mall. Not a whole lot of things in here, <clears throat> but uh, some things that I thought would be important. I did go ahead and uh, break down and make substations. It makes this easier than having so many medium power poles around. Um, I have solar panels, robo ports, those substations, steam engines, boilers, offshore pumps, um, stone furnaces because you need those for boilers, uh, the chest for the logistic systems including the provider, requester, and storage chest, accumulators, radars, and laser turrets. And we are dangerously close to a hundred laser turrets now. <laughs> this thing's been running for just a little bit here and uh, that's all that I have which feels like very little, but if you look, the pollution cloud has expanded greatly. Part of that would be because the biters, the biters became a problem. Here I was, minding my own business, trying to build a beautiful factory, friends, and they broke through the wall. The wall. They, uh, completely destroyed a whole area of turrets, chewed through the walls, and that was a, uh, that was it. I couldn't do it. Wasn't going to let that stand. So we pushed and got this glorious Mark II power armor. With our Mark II power armor, a handful of personal laser defenses, and some Mark II shields, we went and visited the buyers. With that taken care of, I could turn my attention back to the factory. Oh, and it is dark over here. Just drop some lights in in every row of chests. Make it nice and pretty. Uh, yes, uh, so over here, it's going to be dark because I have no lights here, but this is a massive expansion. It was only down to here roughly somewhere, somewhere in that area, two of these, two of those uh, blueprints worth that I had originally placed. I went ahead and made it all the way down to 20. You'll notice that's 20 boilers. That is how many boilers one offshore pump should be able to sustain fully. And it pretty much looks like that's how it's working. So each one of these runs is 20 boilers. Each boiler has two steam engines. So 40 boilers excuse me, 20 boilers means 40 steam engines on one side of the belt. Same thing on the other, and then that's just duplicated three times. That means that our power is uh, looking pretty good. We can produce 274 megawatts if we really need to. Now, of course, the factory, again, it's turning on and off here and there. Uh, only some things are running. You might notice that our steel line is severely lacking and that's something I was working on uh, when I had to come up here and tweak this little setup and you'll see I have been upgrading the main feed line of the steel to reds and oh we missed a little spot let's fix that this is an upgrade planner uh, and I have it specifically filtered to only upgrade belts from the yellow up to the red and if we come down here, we have a nearly full belt's worth coming in, which means it should be nearly getting to the end down here. But that slow trickle is not enough steel for all of the things that we've been making, surprisingly. This has not been an issue up until recently. Um, part of that issue would be that 
that's already empty. Um, yes, we had miners out here, over here, and a few on this side, and all of the ore is gone. To alleviate that problem, I did go right down here and start tapping this. Now, this is red belt, and then it becomes, where is it at? Right here. Regular yellow belt the rest of the way, simply because at that time I did not have any more yellow belt on me. Now I do though, so we are going to fix that issue. And I guess I'm going to have to build a completely additional steel build. And I really, after I get this done, this is going to just decimate the amount of fast belt that I have. I am going to have to get more and then run a second line up through here because one line is not going to handle the throughput that I need. And I don't even have enough belt to make it all the way down. Let's go ahead and use what I do have. We'll mark all of this for upgrade. Okay, now because I'm asking for 200, it's going to bring me that. Let's actually temporarily ask for 400 out of the system. And run up here close by so the bots, they're not the fastest things in the world yet. So we'll get right over here where it won't take them too long to bring me what I need. Do I even have, I don't have a single red belt available. And that would be because I turned these back on to craft, oh, yep, to craft me things and completely forgot to limit the output. That'll do it. That'll absolutely do it. Chew through all your resources and you won't even realize it. Uh, what research are we working on? Uh, we have speed module 3s and productivity module 3s. I am working towards getting the rocket silo, which I will queue up next, and right after that, space science. Now here, these two are a thousand science packs and then 2,000 science packs. That is crazy. Uh, I thought these costing 300 a piece, some of them were 350 that I did. I was thinking that's kind of pricey and then turn around and look at those two. Now, an argument can be made. Those are essentially the victory condition researches, right? Launching the rocket with a satellite into space is the you know the the win condition for factorio you you've beaten the game at that point now obviously almost no one stops playing factorio when they launch a single rocket into space with a satellite in it uh, that's only the beginning of the end game for most people uh, that is going to be the end of this run for us and then we'll be looking at uh, a modded run but this right here this still issue is going to be a problem. I can handcraft some of these belts. That's not ideal though. By limiting those, I will now have belts being made again. It's just a little bit slow. In fact, let's do a third arm. That's still not fast enough? Goodness, because they take five gears every half second. And these things are competing with other machines that are running as well. It's not the most ideal thing, but it's working. So what can we do while we wait on that to get caught up? We know that uh, actually also, I don't know that I properly restricted these chests just thinking that as I caught myself down there not doing it right okay so I did restrict that chest but what about the output here I did not aha okay yeah I got these restricted but I had placed these three down at a different time and I did not restrict them Oh, wait, 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 wait. Use my robot. Oh, that's nice. It's good to have them. Y'all are going to get tired of hearing me say that. Okay. So, 
to launch the rocket, I'm going to need rocket control units. Which means blue circuits and speed modules. 30 seconds to craft a single one. My goodness. How long does it take to craft a speed module? 15 seconds to craft one. So we're going to need a whole setup to make speed modules that will turn around and feed into the rocket control units. Let's actually do that. I didn't consider where I put this little mall set up very well. It is right <laughs> in the area that we've been doing other things. So I am going to grab a substation. Let's get these logistics robots out of my inventory somewhere. There we go. And let's just move that down. That gives us room to come right by here with reds and greens. Now, it was, what, 15 seconds to make one a second? Or 15 seconds per craft, so I need 15 machines to make one a second. I should be able to supply that as far as reds and greens. If other things are not running, if science stops running, I should be able to afford to do this. We're going to do the same thing where I'm going to design this in threes because I need to make 15. And then I can just stamp it down very easily. And here's a little trick that I could do as well. So these are going to make the speed modules. The speed modules can be directly inserted onto here. And that will put on the top side if we put... What was it for the rocket control units? It was uh, blue circuits as well. Processing units, yep. So if I put the processing units on the inside of this belt, like that, then I can put the speed modules on the outside of the belt. And that is the resources that are needed for the next round of assembly in this line. But that gives us a blueprint. That's one, two, three, four, and five. That's 15. All right? So with those running, that will supply enough speed modules, if I can even supply that with the resources it needs. That will make enough speed modules to make one per second of the rocket control units, which will take 30 assemblers. My goodness. Starting to get to big assembly lines. I need to get red and greens here. We're going to do like we did down here. In fact, let's just copy this whole little setup right here. Because this works great. Is that in line, or did I put that one off? It's kind of hard for me to tell. It is in line. Wow. Crazy. Sometimes it just works. Trying to eyeball this even though I don't have all of the lines run down. I believe that I put all the undergrounds in the correct spot. So let's add that in. How are we looking on reds and greens? Are we backed up all the way? Pretty much. That's uh, surprising. I'm going to guess it's because the steel has slowed down, which has slowed down production lines everywhere. <laughs> And that's probably the only the reason that the circuits have been able to catch up with everything that's running. And now we need to get the blue circuits. This is a super simple one. Those blue circuits are right over here.
That brings those in. Now, I can come back and start a few machines in and then select rocket control units and that means that these machines will directly feed the next one and do something like this right because where's the blues we did not finish hooking that up these few will produce enough to keep these running and then you can just keep it going down and it will slightly offset how this works or I could loop this around actually wait just a moment here I am coming up with a better idea on the fly in the moment and that is to turn this around because if I need to expand this in the future I can if I turn that around I can just do it like that and then if I need to expand this out I can and this gives us these resources in a better way now rocket control units can be set up exactly like I did those down below there the processing of the speed modules. That's what they're called, speed modules. So, grab that. I need 30 of these, so that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten sets of three of these would be 30. So look at all of my bots. I have four Mark II robo ports, which means I can have a hundred construction bots in the air at once. And I have a hundred construction bots plus an extra set of 50 for some reason, but that's okay. Uh, those are not for some reason. Those are there in case I'm repair. My bot is repairing something and dies, right? Those are surplus, surplus bots. All right, that looks nice. We're getting a good flow of resources in. I did pick up quite a few of these when I picked up that line, so I will just drop them down here. Actually, whoop. I will drop them down here. Okay. Now we're making rocket control units. What a massive line of assemblers that is. <laughs> Made so simple and easy with our robots. Now, what are we lacking to making the rocket? Right? I know we're working on the research, but rocket parts take rocket control units, low density structures, and rocket fuel. Okay. Well, if that is the case, then. I have everything necessary. Right here are low density structures. Right here are my rocket control units. And then I did, in between episodes, go ahead and run our line of rocket fuel out here. I don't know where exactly that's going to come in at. I mean, we're nearing the end pretty much, right? I am getting the last few researches. When the rocket silo research finishes, I have all of these resources already ready. In fact, I can set up what will craft the rocket silo so it's just ready to go when I get the recipe. And then it's putting the rocket parts in. The next thing is that it does need to have a satellite in it. And I have all of those things ready. We are pretty much set to finish this run out. So what I think that I'm going to do is just run a line over here and combine these two.
somewhere over here, there it is, is the line coming in with the rocket fuel. Uh, maybe I don't want to combine these because don't you need you need to fuel it right so or is that a modded thing I can never remember the fuel refinery machine was definitely a modded thing but these are the three final things we're going to need the other thing that we're going to need is the assembly machine that will actually craft the silo we can prepare the resources that this will need in advance Let's drop down a substation do I have any on me let's request those we're getting them made so bring me a few of them I do know that we need a thousand concrete what else was it requiring a hundred pipes a thousand steel as well so let's go ahead and do that one Steel. Uh, nope, not a hundred. One thousand. Over here, it was one hundred pipes. And then I think there were only two more ingredients. What just happened there? I picked up. A chest right and then the bots had a cow and I'm not sure why that was strange <laughs> very very strange um, anyways our next ingredient it's going to be 200 electric engines, 200 blue circuits. 200 right here, looking at 200. Perfect. That means that momentarily, they're bringing everything. I'm not going to have enough steel just yet. That's you know, kind of a, an issue for us still. But everything else should be on its way, which means the rocket silo will be able to be made. I don't need to set up any kind of outputs or the inserters to put into it just yet, since we don't even have the recipe unlocked. What I need to do is figure out our steel issue, and all of a sudden our copper is an issue again. That's because we're eating through so many circuits. <laughs> It's a never-ending rabbit hole of what's the problem. It's certainly not power, though. Fix that problem. Now. I wonder if the steel will back up since our copper has become such a weak link again. We could... Smelt some more copper and just kind of bring it in. I guess we're going to do that. It's time to start getting super, super janky with everything. <laughs> we're on the home stretch. There's no need to make it super pretty or the most elaborate thing in the world. What are we lacking? Steel. I need furnaces. So, let's buffer these right here. I will go ahead and personally throw some steel in here because I'm going to need that. And making all of these rails first is chewing through our steel over here. But we need those in order to produce what we can. Why is that not grabbing anything? Oh, that's because it's too far away. 
Let's do that. Uh, when I say it's too far away, the way the, the long-handed inserter works is it's trying to place here, and it was saying, hey, you don't put these uh, furnaces inside of the furnace. That's not an ingredient that fits in the furnace. And also, I need to restrict that to one stack. All right. I am going to steal those right there, just real fast, and run over here. Mm. So, actually, before I add any more copper smelting, I should simply make an additional steel setup the normal way because I can do this very rapidly. We are going to need to hook it up with fuel like so. Whoa, what's getting damaged? Uh -huh. Is that how we're going to do, huh? I'm probably going to need some laser turrets up there and in a few spots. But I want to get this up and running first. Look how quickly the bots charge around me, too, with the four robo-ports. Oh, I'm shooting things. Oops. <laughs> yeah, that C button, it's dangerous. Just like having grenades on your hotbar, it's dangerous. Keep my inventory clean. Let's get rid of these blueprints that I use that I only need every once in a while. All right, I'm going to keep the mining one and the power one. That's the full setup that I can just drop down again. I don't think I'm going to need it. I don't think I'm going to go past 275 megawatts of power usage before launching the rocket, but I also don't know. And we will just add that in, like so. Where is this additional line going to come? Probably like that. And then I just need to... This needs to have multiple inputs because I am going to have two lines running up here. So... We'll do that. Misplacing stuff. There we go. Let's see how far I can get. And that was it. <laughs> I was just thinking, I don't think I have enough reds to go all the way down there. I, you could set up, you could argue, set up a train and just have it bring up here. But it's not that far of a distance, really. At that point, it feels like a train is wasteful. What's going on here? I don't have enough plastic production either. We're starting to see weak points all over the factory. It's okay. We'll get things figured out. I'm going to stand here for just a moment and let the bots bring me all of the glorious resources that they are trying to. Because if I go back down here, I will be outside of the range of the logistics network. Come on. I'm actually not going to request any more steel furnaces. I don't really need them on me. I just needed them placed here. 
What else is there that might be a redundant thing that we're asking for? That might have been the only one. Thanks. So. Also, you might have noticed I set this up. If you drag it all the way down to zero on this side, it will empty your inventory the moment you pick these things up. Let's get this iron out of my inventory. How many they got me? All 400. Look at the bots go. <laughs> it's going to get down here and say, wait, we need to replace everything. You're going to use up all of my red belt to replace. Okay. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out if there's a better way to do this because this line these two lines are barely moving this one's moving completely And the better way would be Like that right we should have two full lines coming out now Get all of this ore out of my inventory. Now, interesting. I guess I'm actually not producing enough to make two full lines, and that is okay because it is also combined right up here and not the best way, but <laughs> we'll let it slide. That should certainly help the steel output. Still not going to be enough, but it's better than it was before. And the increase in steel production means that electric furnaces should be getting pumped out regularly, which means that our science should be back to moving at a decent pace. Now, why do I not have enough coal right here? That would be a super simple fix. Ta-da! <laughs> Just split that. Um, this is powering a lot of important things, so we do want the output priority be to the left still. Make sure that's full, and then anything else comes down this line. I don't need to upgrade this to red belt. That'll be enough to keep this running full speed. Granted, I have enough petroleum. Hmm, I've got enough petroleum. In fact, it looks like we're completely backed up on lubricant, which means that we have backed up on heavy oil to the point where that cracks the light oil. The light oil is right below the point where it is any bit of it that comes in gets cracked, as you see right over here, into the petroleum gas. And that's why we have such a vast amount of petroleum. Wait, come back! Yeah, I've got to fix that. And I think a good fix for that too would be to leave some robots up there. Or some construction robots with repair packs as well. I have 10 robo ports. I have enough construction robots. I do want to grab some laser turrets. Stack of 50 will be just fine. They are really hitting that part hard. Uh, this is not a hole they broke through the wall, in case anybody's wondering. I put that there so I could get in and out. I've got a few of them. There's one right here. And one right here. 
And that's one little bitty gap. I could put a gate in there, but I'm not that worried about it. If they can make it in through here, then uh, I have bigger issues than the little gap. Because there are far too many turrets right there for biters to be just walking right through that opening. How messy these storage chests get. And why are there fast transport belts in there? There should never be fast transport belts, by the way. I use those too much. Let's do a quick detour out here to deal with our neighbors that are not very happy. This is such a fast run, the concrete, and I have two exoskeletons. So I'm running 60% faster, plus the 40% from this. I'm running 200% speed. Now, I'll let them fix everything, but we are going to swap these two out for laser turrets. Make sure that that is powered. Another thing that I think I need to do is every other turret right down here. Swap out to laser. Laser turrets have slightly longer range, if you look. When I say slightly, they have much longer range. Never mind, not slightly. They have a decent extra range, and that can help when dealing with the spitter enemies that like to puke their nastiness onto your stuff. I don't know that I need to replace this many. This might be excessive, especially out here. It doesn't look like they seem to attack this part ever. You can see by just looking at the fact there's no carcasses sitting out there. But I am going to anyways. I'm already here. Now, RoboPort, you can squeeze right there. 25 construction robots and repair packs. Uh, yeah, you see that attack just got decimated. <laughs> My laser turrets do 20 damage plus 46 in research. They do 66 damage. To give you, my goodness, look at the difference. The damage on this it actually says shoot. There you go. Damage is down at the bottom. Eight plus 17.92. Right? So you just say eight plus 18. It's 26 damage compared to the 66 damage. Uh, the difference here is the shooting speed. It says 10 plus 11 per second. Is that 21 times per second? I don't... That seems very excessive. I don't know. That, that doesn't sound right. Especially considering the shooting speed on this is 1.5 plus 2.25. So it's going to shoot... What, four? Just barely over four times a second? And then this is going to shoot 21 times a second? Mm, the damage might actually be more on the gun turrets if they really do shoot 21 times a second. I don't know. Either way, the laser turrets outrange them drastically, and that will help. We're going to run right down over here. This section of wall to our left has not been hit nearly as hard, but we're already out here, so I'm going to try and do a little future proofing and drop down some bots, some repair packs, and do the same thing where we're going to swap out laser turrets. This would have been such an easier job setting this wall up if I had had laser turrets and bots and everything 
when I originally did it, but that's okay. We got there. Looking good on ammo. I didn't even think about that to look at the other one. Hey, here comes a party. Let's watch. Yeah, they don't stand a chance. That's good. What was the ammo like over here? Oh yeah, well over a thousand in that chest still. So it's looking good. Alright, that'll help. Uh, you know, this is a big issue dealing with the biters. If they were to make it through one of these chokeholds, <laughs> they could hit this power right here and then that's going to be a severe issue. Everything shuts down then, so it's good to reinforce that. I don't seem to have many issues down over here. And it looks like the pollution barely touches biters that way anyways, and that's probably why I rarely, if ever, see an attack from that side. Oh look, yeah, you remember I was talking about the water being a beautiful shade of green? <laughs> there you go. The pollution is making it happen. Okay. That distraction out of the way, our next task is to fix our issue with circuits. And wait a minute, green circuits are just fine. How in the world did that happen? Our copper is magically caught back up again. So what's not running? <laughs> that, that is the question that you have to ask yourself right now. What backed up? And that is the low density structures. This is a huge copper hungry build. This has backed up. And that is because our yellow science is backed up since it's been having to wait on purples. Which means our steel has caught up and the steel is flowing down the line. So the only issue that I have right now is red circuits. Red circuits are running a little low. Also, noticing these aren't keeping up. So let's speed them up. We have that capability now. I see that we don't have bricks all the way down the line. Now we're talking. And these are running as fast as they can. I could try and sneak a beacon in somewhere, but... Oh, actually, I haven't unlocked those yet. I don't know that I'm even going to bother going for that tech since I'm already so close to getting the rocket. So let's fix the red circuits dilemma before I go running anywhere. Let me see what might be causing. Okay, so it looks like I just need to expand the build, really. There's no deficit. I know that one bottom line of copper is a little bit lax, but there is enough copper on it for it to be running fully. So it looks like I just need to expand it. And I can do that very easily. I need to be careful not to trap myself in any machines. Yeah, so if I just grab a blueprint and say, hold on, no, not that. Undergrounds to undergrounds, right? Like so. Did I run out of yellow belts? No, okay, so my robots, I have just a handful of construction robots. Oh, that is an issue. Where's that, right here? I am out of ammo right there. 
yeah, that, that will certainly put a hamper in the defense wall if it has nothing to sling at the enemy. Where here's... Let's go ahead and make these also passive provider chests. I'll just grab it all. And make a quick trip to where it is refilled at. I need to check all of them, actually do a quick glance around and see if they have ammo. I know the top two do. Look at that. Oh my gosh, the whole line's empty. There's some ammo in some of the turrets, but... <laughs> so how's this doing? Oh yeah, plenty here. And we've got... Plenty there, and the last one, that one's a little bit low, but it's not to the point where I'm worried about it just yet. I have not a single repair pack on me. I'm trying to figure out why my bots aren't fixing anything over here. There you go. And ammo's flowing back down the line. Did we run out down this entire line? No, okay, so it started, or it stopped about two-thirds-ish of the way up. That could have been a disaster. But now... Now we're running into the copper issue again, so... Back around to this problem. And how I'm gonna fix that is, like I said before, I am just going to mine and smelt some copper off to the side over here. In fact, I might smelt it just right next to where I'm mining it, and then transport the plates all the way over. It doesn't really matter because I will be using electric furnaces to smelt it, so... Let's see... Whoop. Actually, what am I doing? I keep forgetting I have robots. Let's set up a couple of them. This will be the output line. Or it could be the input line. It really doesn't matter when you're using these. We're going to make it the input line. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to get a blueprint. Oh, I didn't put any power in it. How silly. It's alright, I'll just run down through here. Where is the closest power pole? I think it's straight up this way. Indeed it was. Come on, robots. I don't want to sit around waiting all day for you. And then I can always mirror this on the other side when I want to. If I want to. Probably good enough. Wouldn't let me put a, n another splitter over it. And that's power. Still have another 14 furnaces. So let's do this. Create a blueprint, press G to flip it, and do it like that. Already making good use of my robots. 
I don't know if I, I might need to expand this further. I can't remember how many electric furnaces it uses. Let's drop that in and out we go. So where does this line need to come in at? Also, I've run out of fast inserters. Trying to figure out why there was no plate on that other line. It's probably a good idea to bring it in. Or, or, trying to think here, maybe I use it for this right here for red circuits and branch it off and have it feed back in. In the meantime, please don't stop completely. Hold on. I made a mistake. It would not be ideal for that to stop completely for a long period of time. Let me wait over here for the robots to bring me stuff. But yeah, what I'm thinking here is that I'm going to bring this line in over and have it priority feed the red circuit build. And I'm going to turn this inserter 90 degrees to the left or the splitter 90 degrees to the left and then reverse those lines and send any excess back to the main bus. I think that's probably the best way to do this. Man, they are still hitting that side hard. Having the bots and repair packs there and laser turrets will help though. And then immediately somewhere else got hit. I just missed clicking it. We're running out of time. The biters are becoming more aggressive. I could just go and, uh, you know, pay them another visit. Swap out. Oh my gosh, not what I wanted to do. I was going to, uh... <laughs> I was going to say swap out my equipment. The roboports that I have for more lasers. And then I clicked left click instead of right click and dumped all of that on the ground. I think I picked it all back up and I'm pretty sure that it does not put it on belts. I think it puts it on the ground around it so you don't end up with random garbage you did not expect on your belt on your belt. Where's my line at? Right over here. I'm just going to run it over. And that's the uh, rocket fuel line. All right. They did refill my inserters, so I can run back over here and fix that issue. Let's request a stack of furnaces to keep on me. Electric furnaces. There we go. Now it can fire up. Is this too many? It's quite possible that that's too many furnaces for a red belt to use because they have a crafting speed of two. I might need to cut this in half and run another feed line in. And then run a secondary line over. Electric smelters or electric furnaces are nice. Okay, but now that I have resources on this belt coming in. I can fix how we're doing. Hey, look at that steel is backing up on at least one side of the belt. Bottlenecks are resolving everywhere we look. Okay. So right here, we are changing this.
So this needs to be a priority output to the right. Over here, we are going to send back to the main bus. Like that, which means this is not necessary. What we do need to do is that. Now we can continue upgrading the copper bus line. And we're caught up to where I had previously upgraded. Perfect. That right there should mean that this will back up. Is that even enough to keep this going? It may not be. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, that may not even be enough copper. You know what? Let's just upgrade the line, bringing that in. We'll see what happens. If anything, it should fill up quickly down at the end. All right. Yeah, it's filling up now. That's better. So that's more than enough. Now, do I go ahead and drop an additional blueprint down? I say yeah, let's go ahead and do it. We will need to immediately upgrade them. That outside line, that is. wonder if there's a way to quickly edit that in the blueprint. I'm not actually sure on that. But I'm outside of our robot network. Oh, we're 33% of the way, one third of the way to the rocket silo. I like to see that. That's uh, some good progress. Just need my robots to bring me some stuff. And also, what are we waiting on? It's not enough rail, huh? Is that due to anything other than the crafting speed? It kind of looks like it's just the crafting speed, which we could put some modules in here to fix that. We could also, I have rails being made in the bus right over here. That is a passive provider chest, correct? It is. We can help speed this process right up. Uh, by doing two things. One is upgrading this to Red Belt. The next one is going to be dropping a requester chest, saying, hey, bring me some rails. We'll say 300. I want this thing well stocked. And then let it dump onto the belt. Because we're not even keeping up with these right down here. The other thing I can do is I have some speed modules. I can upgrade those speed modules. That'll take 
30 seconds a piece, so that's just a minute, and then I can drop those in here. Let's see. Swap these out for stack inserters. Boy, that takes a long time. <laughs> a little bit faster. Let's go ahead and just upgrade this line all the way across. Now we're talking. So these should all be making purple science, which was our slow point there. I wasn't, I didn't even notice that that wasn't an issue because we had so many other issues to deal with first. <laughs> but now that we fix those, we find another one. That certainly helps. Where's that? Did I finish the other module? I did. Let's drop that into here. Now, can I keep up with the iron sticks? Probably not. Maybe. Yeah, actually, it seems to be doing just fine with the iron sticks. I was wondering if I needed to put any modules in here. Wow, we are keeping pace with keeping that machine cranking. That's good. Wow. It has produced 9,230 something as it just keeps ticking up rails. <laughs> I, I really like that they keep track of that and I like those turrets were showing how much damage that they have done. Those are some interesting little things that I just like to see from time to time. It's uh, amazing to see what it does in the length of time that it sits somewhere. I'll tell you what will be amazing is one of these. 14,800 and counting green circuits finished. My goodness. What about you? 42,900 iron plates have come from this steel furnace. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's an interesting little thing. You don't really think about it once you get stuff automated and you're going about the just sheer thousands of products being made inside of your established setup. That is cool. I like that. Yeah, we're getting some speed now on this. Um, I have been refilled by the bots, so I can fix this blinking light right down here. It tells me I'm missing something. Belts and the such. Wait. My bots aren't building it, which tells me that the bots are trying to come over here from the network. Is that within range? Just barely. Okay. Go ahead and put that last little logistics bot down. I don't know where they're coming from, but they're taking forever. Is that... <laughs> of course. The moment I put them down. There you go. There you go. Just bring them to me. I placed them for you, you guys. Just bring them to me. All right. We don't have enough plastic getting all the way down here, though. Is that an issue that we're not producing enough? Yeah, so it's not a full line to begin with, but now we're using so much. In fact, I think we should just upgrade all of the belts to red belt. Everything here should just be moving at red belt speed. I don't think there's any reason why we can't do that. 
and I'm only doing section by section so that my robots will take what's in my inventory to do it instead of waiting 10 years for the robots in the network to come build it. I am getting too much yellow belt in my inventory though. Yeah, I'm going to need to tell it to take some of this away. Don't need that much. Am I out? Looks like I'm out. Okay, so I'll just tell them to go ahead and take care of the rest. I want all of that upgraded. I don't have to do it from my inventory. It's not the end of the world if I just let the system upgrade this over time. But I do want to go ahead and mark it for being upgraded. Then right down here... These can hold three modules. I don't think I need to put three in each one. In fact, while I'm waiting on them to craft, let's just try and spread the love out. Put one in each of them. Because <laughs> it's going to take a, a minute or two for it to make those for me. Each one takes 30 seconds. It's going to take quite a few minutes. It's upgrading in odd segments. And it just snakes around. That's going to take a minute. Well, at this point, I mean, there's a never-ending supply of things for me to go and find and fix in order to keep things moving at a steady pace. But I think I've tried to do as few edits as possible during this series. I think this might be a point where it's going to be boring to watch me fix problems all over the factory while I'm waiting on the rocket silo <laughs> to finish and the research on our uh, satellite as well. So this might be a point where I do a jump cut. Maybe not. You'll see. You'll find out if you keep watching the video. My friends, it is that time. You see that blinking research up there? Space Science Pack has finished, which also means the prior research for the rocket is finished. Let's get the rocket silo. Where is that under it? Here? Rocket silo. I did go ahead and clear the uh, request on these, the logic request, so it doesn't just keep trying to make more. We only need the one. Let us go ahead and make a satellite for this one. It really does not matter. Uh, well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six ingredients. And I know for a fact that rocket fuel is not in the buffer system anywhere. So that one will have to be buffered. Um, let's see. You know what? What's the end of the series? Let's just do that. <laughs> All of them should request. Wait a minute, what? There we go. Still had a recipe for something else. I think the rocket, uh... What are these things called? Rocket control unit recipe was what it tried to put in there to begin with. But that is not what I need. All of them. Craft it, and uh, yes, we will... Just throw down a buffer chest right here. Oh, I said I don't have a buffer chest. I have a buffer chest for the rocket fuel, but it is located right here. And it is just a steel chest, nothing fancy. And it also, it's on the far side of the base. This is a much better option. This is uh, sloppy. Let's actually... 
cancel those. <laughs> it's already making it. Okay, it grabbed enough because I just requested so many. Uh, I, I cleared them out though. We only need the one satellite and we only need the one rocket silo. Uh, when we get this thing built, it is, it's uh, the rocket itself will not be built, just the silo. All right, so let's clear that blinking research before it makes me twitch anymore. Uh, and while we were waiting, y'all didn't miss a whole lot. I did go around and uh, kill more biter nests, and they've already moved back in because I did. That's the first thing I did after the cut is I decided, all right, I need to push the biters back to give me some time. Then I came in and started working on uh, the plastic and other things to. <laughs> Make sure that we were able to produce things at a decent pace. It still took quite a while, but we got it. Here it is. We've got this. Um, I'm only ever going to need the one, so we'll pick that up. And this is where you can output that. Uh, I don't want it to make a whole bunch, so we will restrict that. There's probably enough resources for it to make a few more. Uh, that's not the rocket silo here it is and place it down all we have to do is put these items in which I can do very easily they are just right here that's the wrong direction and Power this thing. Looks like this doesn't require fuel. That was a completely modded thing. <laughs> I like how I'm uh, doing this vanilla run to refresh myself. I keep remembering modded recipes. I'm going to get used to this and then start the modded run and be confused about all the recipes because that is how that works. Okay, it requires 10 per single rocket, which is 1%. This is going to take just a little bit. Uh, I only need the one and only satellite. Where did I put that? Where did it go in my inventory? It's right there. That can be placed in as soon as it's finished, which it's going to take a little bit. I can speed this up. The question is going to be, do I have enough of backlog of things. See, this is the thing. I'm going to very quickly run out of rocket control units, and I, I get one per second, right? Which means it's going to take 10 seconds per 1% just for that item. We're not even talking about low density structures. <laughs> Speaking of, well, that's the thing we're going to run out of first. And let's take a look. We are going to turn around and empty our buffer. <laughs> I need that many of them. We have all the resources here. It's just that this is slow and I have a fix for that. It is make more. Make many, many more. What do you mean? That power pole's out of spot. No, it says something about deep water. Oh, okay. We hit the edge out here, which is not a big problem. If you control click, it will place what it can place and quit complaining about stuff being in water. I do need to drop that power pole back. That is a necessity. Yeah, that right out there. I can fix that momentarily. It's not the end of the world. Wait a minute. Oh, a bunch of this stuff is gonna be brought by the base construction robots. I was about to say, I am certainly not out of medium power poles or assembly machines, but that's all right. It's on its way. This will sort of work. It will work when I get all of the resources down. I'm not going to wait all day. Here they are. <laughs> Every time I say I'm not waiting forever on them is immediately when they show up with all the stuff, you know? Bots, you could be faster, but that takes science and, uh, you know, I don't really care to bother with that. Well, I, I kind of really I was thinking about this while I was running around doing stuff. The fact that we would have to do a jump cut 
uh, to when I get this completed, and then now we're back to waiting forever on things. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get some landfill. As soon as I get unstuck from all these machines. Let me go over here to the path and use the path. There we go. I'm going to get a bunch of landfill. Fix the areas that needed to be fixed right over there to finish that blueprint out. After I let the bots resupply me. I'm patient. No, okay, you're going to charge. Not that patient. Let's go. <laughs> Let me grab the landfill, just all the way down here. I could have requested this, but like I keep complaining, the bots are a little bit slow right now. And I just need to run straight up from here with the landfill. And fix this up here. I'm just going to fill this whole area in. Well, until I run out of landfill. Should be any moment. There we go. That little bit is just fine. Uh, blueprint. Super simple and good to go. Now, I know I can't supply all of these. That is okay. Whatever can run will run, and that's that many more. How many seconds does it take to craft? 20 seconds. Is this 40 machines? It is 40 assembly machines, which means this should be two a second, uh, but I, I can't supply enough copper for that on a single uh, red belt of copper for sure. But we're getting there. We're 54%. And at this point, there are a list of things that I could be doing. Let's throw the low density structures I had on me in. Yeah, there is a list of different things that I could be doing, but actually including, throw some productivity modules in there. That'll cut down how many I need. Uh, not a whole lot. What's the productivity? 16%. It's not crazy, but that'll help. Every 16%. Uh, let's see, what is that? Every how many crafts? I'm going to have to pull out the calculator. I'm tired. And don't feel like actually figuring it out. You know, calculators have really ruined us. They make it so easy. Okay, so every 6.25 crafts, I get an extra percent. Like that. I just got to 64 and then to 65 from that that's nice that will reduce a small amount of the resources that we're going to need it's going to get us there just a little bit faster um, right here the rocket control units again this is a recipe that I can't really I could just slap more down but I'm not going to be able to feed all that and it's already a giant line of assemblers so I think we're going to show a little patience and just let this work its way out. I guess I don't have to worry about biter attacks. I'm dangerously close to getting out of here. That right there is the sound of a completed rocket. And what a beautiful sound it is. Let's watch this thing come up. It will immediately be loaded with a satellite. Well, there we go. We hit the button. It's time for launch. They did really well with this animation. And woo, out it goes. Game finished. All right. 
under 30 hours. Uh, again, I wasn't speed running, you know. I wanted to take my time, enjoy it, and boy, I did enjoy it. So, let's look at this. Medium spitters killed, medium biters, big spitters, trees. <laughs> big biters, small biters, spawners, and big worms. That's a pretty good number of kills. It's, a, it's just a 30-hour map, after all. But we did it. We finished it. That was amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you made it to this point, you must have enjoyed it. And thanks for watching. And uh, I look forward to making more content for everyone to enjoy.